The Emmy Award winning star, that would be the one and only lovely Kiki Palmer, has been entertaining audiences for nearly 20 years. She's had roles in dozens of films and TV shows, including where I first saw her in Aquila and the Bee. I love that movie. Don't you remember that, Vlad? Her own Nickelodeon series, True Jackson, VP, Scream Queens, and recently, the critically acclaimed horror film. Nope, of course. <laughs> now she's out with her new album and film. It's called Big Boss for a Reason. Palmer wrote and directed the movie, which, by the way, is based on her real life, also stars her mom. In this clip, they share what you could see is a heart-to-heart -heart moment. Here's a look. You know, these Hollywood people is weird as hell. Well, I'm Hollywood people, too. That's what people see when they see me. Too real for the Hollywood people, too Hollywood for the real people. Okay, all right, so what? So what? Yeah, so what? So what? You're different, you don't fit in, but that's why you stand out, so I don't get it. So what? Being different is one thing. Feeling lonely, it's another. Mm. Oh, man, only on CBS. Look at her. <laughs> Kiki Palmer joins us in studio. Kiki, do you love Welcome. me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't wait. I've always wanted to do that. I know. You were so right. You were so right. <laughs> that I love the song. And when Drake did it, I thought about you first. But Aww. welcome, Leo's mom. You oh have so God. much. It's what Vlad said to you before we went on. Congratulations on everything. Oh, everything. Thank everything. you, guys. Thank you guys so much. It's so but, good to be here with you. The energy's amazing. Oh, we feel we feel it, too. We actually like each other. But let's talk, <laughs> about, let's talk about Big Boss, because yes. you are, Kiki. When you look at the movie, you said it's... It's, it's based on your life. Yes. And you were so candid about what happens in the music industry. Could you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, from my perspective, I experienced a lot of misogyny and also just uh, insecurities. I think, uh, you know, we all have these narratives that we tell ourselves. And mm -hmm. my first record deal at 12 years old with Atlantic Records told me that I was always gonna have it hard in music and that no one was really going to allow me to be me. Um, and, and so every situation kind of mirrored that. The situations I even put my myself in. And the movie is about me overcoming that narrative and understanding that I'm always enough, you know? Yes, always. But it didn't stop you. No, thank God. There was a very pointed um, scene with you and your mom. Yes. Because uh, clearly there's love, but there also seemed to be tension. Is your mom your manager too, right? Yes, she was always... So she started off as my acting coach, uh -huh. my manager, and now she's my business partner. Yeah. And those things are great, right? I'm so blessed to have not only a great parent, but a passion shared with a parent. But the reality is, is that my, my job also became overwhelming for me. You know, I started to feel so much pressure for everything my parents sacrificed yes. for me to do what I did. And so then it became a, a, a painful kind of bond because it reminded me of what I felt like I sacrificed and what I could be losing. Mm. And this is your first time directing. Yes. Um, how, what, <laughs> was emphatic, yes. Yeah. How, how, did you, how did you do? <laughs> right. Yeah. right, exactly. I mean, I feel good about it, but it's also different directing yourself. I mean, I grew up on sets with people like Tyler Perry, where of Tyler course. Perry is doing everything. So I think that's why I felt that I could do it and why I wanted to do it. But it is unique. I'm, I'm interested to see how it is directing when I'm not in it, mm. um, when I can actually just focus solely on being the director and not the actor and the director. But I I was really excited uh, to work with this uh, great cinematographer, Melissa Rahi. Um, I think the relationship between a DP and their director is so special, so I was excited to finally be able to experience that myself. So one of the things that I think is really interesting is we just pointed out, you've been in front of the camera practically yeah. your whole life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. not just Akilah and Abi, but also Nickelodeon. Um, but a lot of young actors sort of flame out when they get a little sure, older. Sure. What are some of the pitfalls that you've been able to avoid? What has kept you on the straight and narrow? Well, my, fam my family, my support system, which was what I show in Big Boss, is that even when times would get hard and I would kind of run away from my safe place, trying to see the world and see what I could do without them or felt that I had to do this and that without them, they were always there in the background waiting for me. You know what I mean? And there's also a spiritual element to Big Boss. So it's, it's also just like God, my faith, you know, my grounding, my foundation. Talk about that. It's always there. Even when you go, go uh, uh, you know, walk through this valley of the shadow of death, it's always oh, still waiting for you. Of course. We should tell people where they can watch Big Boss. It's on okay. your new streaming channel. Yes. Oh, another yes. another exactly. element of Big Boss. Another win. Yeah. Another, yeah. another boss win. move. Come on. Come on. Yes. So Key TV Network, I launched it last November. I'm so excited. We have unscripted short series, scripted short series, and it's free. So it's, I wanted to make sure it was available. How do we get it, though? You How can go to YouTube.com okay. slash Key TV, also Facebook.com slash Key TV, um, and you can watch Big Boss, which is premiering May 
12. But Kiki, right. so you're like a studio boss yeah. now. Come like, on now. Uh, Your girl is not playing. Kind of, you're right. <laughs> you're no, writing I, the I love checks. the title. You're I love the check. Unfortunately, I'm writing the check. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Listen, what's can, the, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, what's the mission with Key TV? Hmm. Oh, so the mission is really to, to give more voices to the BIPOC creators. I mean, I think for me, digitally, I found my voice. Like, it was an opportunity for me to produce my own content and really create my own narrative for the kind of entertainer I want to be. And through that, I was able to have great brand partnerships. So I really want to bring more of that audience to Kiki, you. Kiki, can we just needed. please talk about Leo? Yeah, oh, yeah! I'm so Leo. happy that you have this, this boy clearly uh, you adore. Is it tough to leave the house? Vlad has a new baby. Tell him ready to go home well. right now. I mean, I'm ready to, you know, <laughs> there's nothing more exciting than looking at your little baby boy. Oh, and oh, just we, we have video. Can it. we show the video oh, yes. of you talking to him? Oh, yeah, I do a Maya Angelou accent. Yeah, I want to hear that, Maya. Watch it. Look at that thing. Ooh. One thing I know is that love is love, and you will one day see it for that. <laughs> wow, that's you, that's right? You? Yeah, that's yeah, you, yeah, not yeah. Maya. <laughs> I know exactly. I, I literally oh, I pat your back, burp you babbed. No more cries after that. Oh, <laughs> like, why am I doing that, writing these poems? Kiki, I, 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 I mean this sincerely. I don't know anybody that doesn't love you and isn't cheering oh, you on. Seriously. Yeah. Thank I you. saw you on the red carpet for the Met Gala. Could we please show that picture? Because you were oh, a yeah. grown-ass woman Come on the Come on, carpet. girl. Yes! Look at you. Wow. I still see Bless you as Sergio a little Hudson. girl. He's so fabulous. I love that, you know, my first Met, I was hosting and I wore Sergio yes. Hudson. And then now this was me as a guest and I wore yeah. Sergio again. And he's just fabulous. So shout-outs to him. Yeah. You Aging still look like fabulous. Fine wine. Oh yes. my gosh, thank you. Yes, you look amazing. We are all cheering you on all of us. Congratulations for everything. Everything. Big boss. Hey. Go to Key TV right now. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> the new album, and the music is good too. The new album. That's that right. Is, the music so is so good. So much to talk to you about. It's called Big Boss. It will be released next Friday, May 12th. That's my favorite daughter, Kirby's birthday. All right. You can watch the film exclusively on Key TV, and you can stream the album on all platforms. We'll be right back.